is Day with Faye. Today I'm going to be doing two swatches for you today from Kylie Cosmetics. The first being the Kylie Lip Kit and the second being Queen Lip Kit. Now I know I've already done the swatch of Queen Mini Lip Kit, but I figured since I'm here, I'll just do the full on lip kit with the lip liner. Also, this is a new formulation of the matte lip kits. So I'm gonna let you know how the new formula is and how long wearing it is after about like eight hours of eating and drinking and letting you know how that works out. As always, there are timestamps in the description for when the swatches start. And if this is your first time to my channel, hello, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Now first up, we have Kylie which is a soft, dusty nude. Now first off, the name throws me off because if I tell people, oh yeah, I just got the Kylie Lip Kit, they think that I'm speaking in general. That's kind of confusing. <laughs> but secondly, this is a new matte formulation. So I'm excited to try it. And not only that, this is the first lip kit where the lip liner is darker than the liquid lipstick. So that's exciting. Let's do it. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this color combination. I know traditionally people usually wear lip liners that are darker than the actual lipstick because it kind of just like accentuates and makes your lips kind of like go bam. Here they are. This is where they start. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me, so I'm going to go with it. But I really love the look of this, and I'm very excited that Kylie herself has started doing this in her line. I think that this is a beautiful nude. The way that it feels is kind of as if Velvet and the original matte formula had a baby. So it's not really as creamy as the Velvet, but it's also not, I don't wanna say drying, but not that like matte feel of the original one. It's kind of like a mix, but more towards the matte side. I'm excited to see how this one long wears, so stay tuned for that one at the end of this video. And I'm also going to compare this to Candy K because I'm curious to see how this looks against Candy K. And if you are interested in any swatch comparisons, please comment down below. If I have it, I will get that to you as soon as I can. Next up we have Queen, which is a warm yellow nude. I'm so happy that they made this a full-size lip kit. I knew that they were going to, it was just a matter of when. So I'm I'm glad they did it kind of relatively soon. So obviously, as I said in the last video, I'm obsessed with this color. I think it's beautiful and would go with a lot of skin tones. I actually think the same thing about Kylie. Like I love these nude colors that Kylie Cosmetics comes up out with because I just feel like they're so wearable for so many different skin tones. It especially looks really nice on fair skin tones. That's like a little win for me, but I love it. I definitely am so excited. I think that these two are definitely in my top 10. I'm actually thinking about doing a top 10 Kylie Cosmetic lips for fair skin. If you guys are interested in that sort of video, please comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I was also thinking about doing like a huge swatch comparison video, like, you know, one for nudes, one for reds, one for pinks, like stuff like that. If that's also something that you guys would be interested, comment down below. I don't know if I should just do one huge video or if I should break it up into sections. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'm definitely going to do the top 10 in a different video versus the swatch comparisons, but 
just let me know. All right, that's all that I have for you. I did not get the 20 2014 lip kit. I was very on the fence about getting that color. I actually, when anytime I feel on the fence, I always post polls on my Instagram stories. So if you feel like you wanna have input, definitely follow me because I will post a poll every now and then. And I also want to just say that I definitely haven't been as regular with posting my videos just because first there was the move and now I'm in intense wedding planning because my wedding is in January and it's just like, oh my god, I hope I survive it. I know I will. All right, so it has been about eight hours since I put on the Kylie lip kit. I've eaten with this, I've drank with this. I would say that this is more comfortable than the old formula as well as it feels as if there's like less product on my lips, if that makes any sense. It definitely stayed on, it was completely matte. So this is like a close up of how my lips look right now at this moment. Overall, I would say it's an improvement. I definitely love how comfortable it is to wear and how long wearing it is. I was very, very nervous that this new formula wouldn't be as long wearing as the old formula, but that is not the case, so we're good to go. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do some swatch comparisons. First, I wanna direct your attention to these two. This is Kylie and this is Candy K. As you can see, Kylie is lighter than Candy K. Candy K is like a warm, dusty pink and whereas Kylie is more, it's cooler. Now let's move on to here. This is Queen and this is Candy Cane. Again, these two are the same lip kit. Queen is definitely more yellow and warmer than Candy K. So I think these three are different enough and can give you different looks in my opinion. There you have it. Anyways, I hope genuinely that you guys have a really good rest of your day or night whatever time of the day it is for you. See you next time.